Today we have here on the bench this RCA VR620HF Hi-Fi Stereo VCR. This VCR came out in the early 90s and this particular VCR and I just recently uh, met up together again because I found this at a local thrift store and the reason this one and I have met up again is because I owned this exact model many years ago in my early 20s when I was building my first home theater and this VCR and I did great things like watch Back to the Future and Hi-Fi Stereo VHS for the first time and um, this was my home theater VCR as a young man and I think I paid a ridiculous price for this thing probably three four hundred dollars at the time bought it at Best Buy and at the time it was uh, it was kinda difficult to find a, a high quality hi-fi stereo VCR gone were the days of those machines like you see on my channel that had the you know individual volume controls on the front for your audio input and gone were the um, I don't know all the extra cool features that I wanted on a VCR but they just didn't have them anymore so this was the next best thing and this VCR was a great VCR for a long time and I eventually replaced it with a Sony that I think I found secondhand so uh, here's the original remote that came with it and here's the original owner's manual that came with it it's still a really good VCR it has a uh, rock steady picture quality and um, I'll pull the hood on it for you show you what's going on on the inside this particular one that I found at Goodwill had um, the display wasn't working here on the front in fact it still doesn't really show up that well even uh, on here um, yeah so the uh, the screen has really faded this LCD display has faded quite a bit in its old age but what it required to get going again and it was pretty semi working even at the store when I checked it what it needed was a belt and believe it or not some lubrication so I'll show you where I added the lubrication to the unit but here it is on the inside it's it's got a very small compact design much like the modern VCRs that you saw except it's still a little bit heavier it's still got some weight to it still has a metal chassis on the inside as you see here and there's all of your take up heads and stuff strangely enough it has this unique design with the um, with the pinch roller the pinch roller which you see right there is on some kind of a little swing pendulum kind of thing and it swings around and jumps in front of the tape but it's kind of suspended in midair so to speak at this point so that's kind of an unusual thing it does not have stereo linear track uh, audio playback mono playback on that uh, on that side but that was another thing that uh, some of the fancier VCRs from the mid 80s had as you could play the stereo linear tracks which was the stereo tracks before hi-fi stereo came along or you could play the hi-fi tracks and this one only played hi-fi which at the time that was all I wanted here is the bottom of the unit there is that belt that I had to replace and as far as lubrication goes I just used some of my Thomas Edison uh, grease that I mixed together myself it's uh, what is it it's uh, petroleum jelly and um, uh, this powder that you mix together you can find a, a uh, recipe for it online but uh, you can see here I put some new lubrication on this wheel here and along this little track thingy here and put some right in there which I think is just to keep that uh, particular gear from wearing too much a little in there so you can see that 
and then back around the front, I did put some lubrication on that little pendulum thing that we were talking about a second ago, which you see right there. You can see the black grease that I put on that. So I'll put a tape in and you can see what that thing does. It's really rather interesting. I don't know if you noticed that, but the, the, the capstan actually spun down there. I'll hit stop again and you can see what it does. See there? It kind of lifts up out of the way which is kind of an interesting design. I guess a way of making the machine more compact, perhaps. I don't know. Let's watch it again. It's too cool. So without that lubrication on there, the pinch roller was not coming in contact with the tape as it should have, and therefore it, uh, it wouldn't spin the tape. But look at this rock steady, gorgeous picture it has. You can see it here on my uh, my little LCD hobby display here. But notice how the lines there, this is a letterboxed tape, what we're looking at here, and just see how nice and clean those lines are. Whereas a lot of times on VHS decks, your, your horizontal lines aren't typically very steady or smooth. This is the uh, Superman on VHS. So, yep, looks very, very nice. So, again, um, good VCR if you happen to run across one. Uh, this one's got a little bit of a scratch right there. But um, my kids were telling me that their VHS tapes that they also collect uh, haven't looked so great on one of those old 80s VCRs. So we're going to give this 90s VCR a little spin and see how it does with some of those older tapes that have been played quite often. So there you go. RCA. High quality stuff. This uh, was made in Japan. Obviously was not made by RCA. I'm sure it was probably made by somebody in Japan for RCA. So thank you for watching and uh, check out my channel. Please subscribe and leave a comment. And uh, if you like old VCRs, I've got a lot more really cool ones on my channel that uh, certainly had a lot more features than this guy had. Thank you for watching.